Hello everyone, this is Dana with Desartisan, and I'm here today to show you how to put together this eight-sided triangular treat box um, that is on Cricut and Cricut Access. I'll put the end numbers down in the description. Um, I'm hoping that you can see everything okay because this is like a gold um, gold foiled cardstock, so it's a little a little bit reflective, but um, this was cut out of a piece one piece of 12 by 12 scrap of paper and then um, decorative paper for that. This also was included in that um, 12 by 12 to cut the box base. So what I have done is I have red line tape on the box tab and if I flip it over I have red line tape on tabs 2, 4, 5, and I think that's 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, sorry. So to get started, what we're going to do, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there are triangular score lines, and there's four of these in this box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start folding those first, just like that. We're going to do all four of them, try to make it to a nice, nice point, almost kind of like a milk carton. I'm going to do that one. Oops. And you don't have to crease them real hard, just just enough. And I'm trying to keep this in the picture frame for you guys. Like that. Let's see. Okay. And there's two more to do. There's one. Two. Again, makes like a little triangle. And the last one over here like that okay so your box should look like that with them triangles a little bit more defined and I'm going to go ahead and fold off the top of the box this is the top where the um, four holes are and we're going to just bend those back like that I'm going to flip it over crease them that way and then we're going to flip the box over and we're going to do the same thing with the bottom as you can see, I was a little um, rough ripping it off my mat. It's, it looks like a confusing box, but it's really not. Once you get to it, once you do a few of them, you're like, well, wow. Okay, so there's one crease that goes all the way across here. We're going to fold that in just like that. Okay, and then we're going to do each of the eight sides. Now I'm using red line tape to hold this box together because I intend to put um, uh, treats in it and it makes it a little bit heavier. That's what this extra piece here is for is to go on the bottom of the box. Um, it makes it look a little prettier and it actually gives it a little bit more stability. Okay, whoops. And then we have our tab here, and I'm going to go ahead and do a hard fold on that one completely. I'm going to take my bone folder, Cricut scraper, and crease that down. So now this is what it should look like. Okay, when I put the decorative tape on, I use just like a two way glue um, so it could slide around and I can line it up a little bit better. All right, so first thing we're going to do is take the red line tape off of this, and I didn't have any wide enough, so I did two strips, but if you just have, um, if you have like the quarter inch or half inch, it would be wide enough, and you would not have to do two strips. Okay, so we got that. It's folded down. I'm going to pull this side up, and we're going to line up the two edges. So... That edge there, get my finger out of there. That edge there and just crease it. And, okay. So now we have a box that looks like this. It looks a little odd, to be honest with you. I'm gonna take these top tabs and I'm gonna fold them off to the side so I can lay the box down flat. 
So it still looks a little odd shape, but I promise you it's fine. I'm going to take all these and bend them back just like this. Okay. And we are going to start folding the, um, the big, big tabs first. So this one doesn't have any tape on it. So it's going to go forward and it's going to go like that. And when you tape it together, you're going to leave about a third of that tab visible. You're not going to push it all the way across. It'll come, it'll, when you fold it right, it'll comfortably fit. So let me take that one off. I actually think I might actually add a little bit of more tape to that. So when you fold it, line up the edges and give it a good crease. And you can see that it's like, well, maybe it's a fourth, not quite a third. A fourth of this is visible here. Okay. Next, we're going to do the same thing with this side. I'm going to add some more tape to that one, though. Okay, again, I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to fold it down, fold this across. You're going to line up the edges just like that. Same way with this. I actually made two of these boxes, one for a test and one for um, to do the video, and apparently... I grabbed the wrong one for the video. So again, we're going to fold it over and just meet up the edges. When I mean the edges, the sides. Give it a good rub. Okay. And one more time. It is a little awkward, but once you do it, once, it's easy. It's really easy. Okay. Again, and I'm kind of having to force the sides together. There. So now you got your eight-sided box. Looks like an X by the time you're done. I'm going to take this piece and pull all these tapes off. Get that out of the way. Staticky. <laughs> There's one. It would be easier to just use a tape runner, but I don't think it's going to hold up as as well. My intention for this box is to use it for a advent box. I'm going to put 25 um, pieces of candy in it for my grandkids, um, all six of them, so they each get an advent box of their own, so they're not fighting over the candy. And then you're just going to take your bottom and glue it down to the bottom of your box, just like that. It makes it a little prettier and more stable. Okay? So the box still looks a little funky, and that's okay. We're going to um, take these corners now, and we're going to push them in. Even though we folded it the wrong way, we're going to kind of pinch them in like this, just like that, okay? All four of them. Good grief. Pinch them in. So when you're getting your box together, This one doesn't want to go. There we go. There we go. Like that. Okay. So now your box looks like um, almost like a Red Cross. See? And then you're going to take your ribbon, and this is the fun part. And I'm going to cut two pieces about. 12 inches. I will say this is easier to use if you have um, 
a wired ribbon and I don't have any if I believe in using what I have so I'm using what I have. Each of the ribbons you're going to tie a knot into the very bottom of the ribbon and because this ribbon is really thin I'm going to have to tie like three knots. So drop the knot inside the box, thread this through here Like that. Drop the knot in the box. Thread the ribbon through the same hole that you just did. Just like that. Okay. You go from the inside outside. I'm so sorry. I'm so nervous doing these videos. Okay. Turn around and go to the inside. You can kind of see what it's doing now. It's pulling the box shut. Again, the last one. On the inside, push your box, squish it all together into a square. Kind of tug on the ribbon. Okay, see how that looks? If you pull the ribbon tight, it pulls into a square. I'm just going to kind of line it up a little bit, give it a tug, and I'm going to tie a knot. Okay, and tie a bow. And because my ribbon is so long, I'm going to go ahead and do two bows. And like I said before, this would have been easier had I used um, a wired ribbon, but I just used what I had on hand. And I'm not the best bow maker in the world either, so... <laughs> Trim it off. Well, I could sit here and fuss with it all day long. But there's what your box looks like all completed. Okay. So thank you again for your patience and watching how how we created or how we folded this box. Like I said, I'll put the end number um, for Cricut in the descriptions and if you have any questions feel free to just send me an email um, or a message on Cricut and I'll do my best to help you out. Have a great day guys.